everyone, welcome to my channel Life With Me. So today is a very exciting video because I wanted to share with you one of the first places I went to when the lockdown eased here in the UK. And as per the title, it is my favorite garden center here in the UK. And in my opinion, it's the best garden center that I've been to so far. And so I wanted to take you along with me. The name of the place is called Bent's Garden Centre. It is actually voted as one of Britain's best garden centre by the Garden Centre Association. It is also voted Top 10 Garden Centre by the Horticulture Week. It takes me approximately 40 minutes to drive there, but it's always worth the while. As I park and approach the building, I am loving it already. I see precautions that they have implemented in order to decrease the possible spread of COVID thereby increasing the safety of their patrons. Big kudos. On my way inside the building, they also had hand sanitizers throughout and upon entering the building. As you can see on the floor, they have a one-way system inside as well. If you ever wanted to get out of the house and find something to do, Ben's is definitely one of my go-to's because it's got lots to see and do here. If you're looking for ornaments, they have a lot of beautiful house uh, ornaments and display. Lots of barbecue selections. So if you're wondering how I can spend a few hours in here, the reason is because they have so many beautiful home goods such as plants and gardens, indoors and outdoors. Alright, so we have some indoor plants now. Oh, look at these, so cute. Garden furniture, they even have a golf course that is new. They even have a children's outdoor play area, but because of COVID, um, these things are closed. And if you are an animal lover, they even have an area especially for pets. So they have things for dogs and cats and birds, all sorts of neat toys and food. As for dining, they even have six dining areas, little cafes and bistros dispersed throughout the store. I've tried it before and they are quite nice. Look at that. And here's some tomatoes, some snack tomatoes. They have a herb section. They have some fruit trees. We have our apples. We've got our black currants, some white currants, some more berries. You can have your own blueberries. You 
got some grape. I'm telling you, this place is huge. That's what she said. And if you guys are looking for some shrubs, we've got a lot of varieties here. From A to Z, literally. We're in the roses section. We have our patio roses. All sorts. Oh wow. The wind just blew and I got a whiff of some beautiful scent. Mm. Wow, look at this. Barely densely patched roses. You guys, I am just in heaven. Look at this. Look at this greenhouse. Amazing. And they have a variety of plant pots you can get here. And I love specials. Alright, so this is what's in my cart so far. Some flowers. Some pots. Trough more soil, more flowers. One thing that's really nice here is the added aesthetic and the effort that they put in. And before COVID, when I came to Benz, they even had a woman's group where they gather around once a week for an hour of just knitting and hanging out. colors of these thickaments. Yeah, they look nice and strong. They've been really well taken care of. Oh my goodness, look at these chilies. One of my favorite things about Benz is that it is a family-run home and garden center founded in 1937 by Alfred and Margaret Benz and I found a picture of them here up on the wall and their family. Um, so basically they both started to grow and sell roses in their front yard in Warrington back then and to this day they turned it to what it is now and I always love to support success stories like this. Here we have a beautiful pond area where you can sit and relax. Here is the Jurassic Cove Golf Center. So here are the displays of the huts that they sell here. Peek inside. Ooh, actually looks quite cozy. Check out another one. It's quite dark in there. Here's a smaller one. Isn't this nice? Got a nice variety of spices. And got some roots in Canada.
here we are getting our strawberry tarts and some brownies and a scone. One of my favorite desserts here in the UK is, which I haven't heard of before I came to the UK, is the sticky toffee pudding. And the sticky toffee pudding originally came from this place, Cartmel. So if you're ever in the UK, try a sticky toffee pudding. It's delicious. Here we have some frozen ready meal made by our local chefs. Local homemade desserts that's in the freezer. And here we are at the end of today's journey at Bent's. So if you're around the Warrington area, do check it out. If you've watched up until now, thank you so much for joining me. Before I forget, earlier on today, I had went strawberry picking nearby and will be posting my next video on my day there. So please tune in to my next video where I go strawberry picking. Until next time, see you later. So coming up, we will be driving past another piece of Ben's land. They are actually renting pieces of allotment so if you wanted to you can actually grow your own vegetables and plants in the rented allotment. So if you're new to my channel and you've enjoyed this video please do help my channel by subscribing below, hit the like button, hit the notification bell as well as share if you can and I will see you next time. Bye!